Can you cancel out of a car contract after you signed it or get your deposit money back on a vehicle? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. A lot of people want to know the answer to these two questions. And why is that? Well, it could be that buyer's remorse sets in after inking the deal or putting down a deposit, and it could be for any number of other reasons, too. Whether it's just a deposit you made or you completed a car purchase agreement, Many wonder how to cancel a car purchase agreement after the fact or if they can get their paid deposit money back. With regard to deposits, many car companies allow you to build your new car online and then ask interested customers to put down a deposit to hold their place in line. Most often, these deposits are fully refundable. For example, even the EV companies refund deposits. Tesla offers a full refund on the $100 Cybertruck reservation. Rivian also provides refunds for their $1,000 R1S vehicle deposits as well. In nearly all cases, the dealer can be compelled to refund your deposit. That's right. It's a battle they don't often win in court if they try to resist it. Your reason for wanting to cancel a car contract could be a sudden loss of employment, like this viewer stated going by toast. Help, I made a huge mistake and leased a new Toyota Tacoma about a week ago and just found out today I was being laid off. Oh, the residual is 31k after 36 months, and monthly payments are at 740. Ouch! Well, toast. It's possible that you really are toast on this one, but you do have a few options that you need to exercise right away. The truth is, anyone can get buyer's remorse, especially on a large ticket item like a vehicle. If you're wondering, can I cancel a car purchase agreement? Many car buying advisors will agree that the answer is a clear maybe. Maybe. Or maybe. Yeah. Unfortunately. There are some misconceptions that buyers have a cooling off time period of 14 days in which to change their minds about the purchase. While this is true for some types of purchases, it does not apply to new cars. But that doesn't mean you're always stuck with the vehicle once you commit. Where you live matters as legal ramifications can change from state to state. How long ago you made the purchase also matters a lot. But the clearest determiner of how you cancel a car purchase depends on the stage you're in of the car buying process. In general, because of how car valuations work, there is not a cooling off period required as part of a car buying contract, although some dealers do offer a grace period and some will willingly work with you if you get back there right away, but you got to do it ASAP. Yeah. It can often be very difficult to return it or cancel it. That's true of car valuations, but it's possible that you have a 14 day financing cool off period. And if this is the case in your state, you must contact the lender directly to cancel your credit agreement within the 14 day cooling off period. Liz is right, but you should not assume that it's universally available. Yeah. If it's available to you, your next steps are called providing notice, for which you are not required to give a specific reason for your change of mind. If you bought the car on your own bank pre-approval and the money has already been deposited in your account to pay for the vehicle, you must return it in full and the lender must give you 30 days to reimburse the money. There's also the issue of titling the car, which generally does not happen within the first 14 days of signing the contract. Time is very critical on this one. Once the title transfers at the state level, things get much harder. If you just bought or leased a car and you'd like to bring it back, start by contacting the state DMV with the VIN for the vehicle and see who it's titled to at that moment. If it's still titled to the dealer, you have to act quickly to have a shot at returning it. When you go to the dealer and you should go ASAP, make sure you tell them, I checked with the state DMV office and the vehicle is still titled to you. Critical that you say that. Mm -hmm. If this is a brand new car, once the title transfers, it becomes a used car with big financial implications and the dealer has fewer options. The dealer may not want to, but it's generally well within their power to contact the state and halt any activity on the title right away. Consider yourself lucky if the dealer will do this for you without a huge fight. Right. Back in a moment with more right after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? With regard to car contract cancellations, things change a lot when a dealer has sold you the car on a conditional basis. One of the few circumstances that could lead to a new car purchase agreement being canceled is if the dealer has agreed to a conditional sale, also known as a yo-yo sale. In this case, you sign a contract agreeing to purchase the car and the dealer lets you take the car 
before it has received final approval from a third-party lender that it is trying to sell your loan to. If financing is denied, the dealer will cancel the contract. You must return the vehicle in its original condition or as close as possible to that within 24 hours, and the dealer must return your trade-in and the down payment you made with no deductions for your usage or mileage, or you face repossession actions. You don't want that. This right to cancel only applies to the dealership. You do not have the right to cancel yourself. With regard to buyer's remorse laws, unlike other products, cars lose significant value as soon as they are driven off the lot, or at least as soon as the title transfers at the state level, which is why if you want to cancel, the clock is ticking. You need to get back to the dealer as soon as possible. If car dealers allowed even a brief cooling off period, they would be stuck selling new cars at a loss. This is one reason the FTC's three-day cooling off rule does not apply to new car purchases. There's another reason you could have the right to return your car without financial implications to you. If you believe a dealership has committed fraud and you are stuck with a car or a loan payment you don't want, contact a consumer law attorney in your state as soon as possible. Oftentimes they work on a contingency so you won't have to pay attorney fees out of your own pocket. That's how our friend Dan Whitney in Maryland works. In these cases, the dealership is often court ordered to pay attorney fees. In the end, you could actually be awarded the car by the court. So if you know this is true, it's well worth your effort to pursue this. How does fraud happen? Fraud can happen in a number of ways like we discussed in this show. 13 ways car dealers commit fraud, mostly in the finance office. Yeah. Yes, it is mostly in finance. A few of the commonly charged fraud cases, as shared by consumer law attorney sites, include false statements about price, forced unwanted options and accessories called tide selling, bait and switch advertising, hiding a lemon, and financing fraud. Some are more difficult to prove than others, but fraud gets you out of a car contract every single time, and you should know that it happens far too frequently than dealers care to admit. We hope that today's show helped convince you that you do have some options if you signed a car contract that you now want out of. The door could still be open to canceling your contract, but act fast. Also, if you missed our recent show, three major reasons to wait until after June 2023 to buy a new car, you must go back and see it. And you can see why, especially now that it's to your advantage to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on upcoming THG announcements. For our newest viewers, you can also connect with the Homework Guy team on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and what things to watch out for, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love by leaving even a small tip at any of the links you find in the description box below. You'll also see a super thanks button just below the video. Thanks everyone. We appreciate everything you do for us. All right. If you're new here to the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said, and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. In the last two days alone, 1,000 new subscribers jumped on board with us, so a special welcome to all of you. Yep. To everyone else, thanks for coming back, and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business, and soon enough, an all-new way of buying cars. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.